Hey everyone, so today I'm going to talk about how I can set up WSL shortcut to just directly open new anti-gravity windows just from WSL terminal in anti-gravity. So you know how you can do code dot and it will open up a new VS code window like this. And then you can also do cursor dot and it can do the same thing with the cursor window. And I have a whole video about this on how to do that. So you can open up these windows to access it. Let me close all this quickly. So I want to do something same for anti-gravity. Now one way is you can open up a new window and it will open, give you other options which you want. And you can go in here and like, you know, try to find out other folders. But I want to do directly because I'm used to using the WSL terminal. So let's say I want to go into workspace and I want to go into docs folder. Now, how do I do that? Now, there is no direct way to do it as of now, but there's one thing which I found using this. Now, what is this? Now, first of all, you need to figure out where is your anti-gravity installed in your C drive. Once you have that, you can add slash mnt slash C and then it kind of continues the path of the C drive and you can get it. Now, you have to be careful. Let me just show you why, because if you go into You might think that the antigravity.exe might be that file, but it's actually is in within bin. So you want to go one more and then look at it. So this is the antigravity which will actually be triggered. So first of all, you need that. Now let's go back. So this, you need to have it in your bash RC script. So let's open up bash RC script. All right, so here you go. So you can see I tried some other things before, but these are the things you want to focus on. Now, what does this mean? It means that, uh, first of all, this is the part to your binary, and then you want to launch it as the distro of WSL. Now, you can either use this, or you can also use the distro name. So you can so do something like local distro is equal to WSL distro name. This is a keyword within WSL, and you can just use that instead of using this. So it already is trying to tell me that I can do this. And PWD just means present working directory. Okay, let's, let's try using this now. And before using this, you have to source it. So now if I do ag dot, let's see if it opens a new one. Awesome. There you go. So you have the folder ready. You have the terminal ready and you can test it before, before doing all this, you can also test it directly from here. So if you do this, let me close that window again. It should still open. Great. Now, the only problem with opening like this is that you will see that the terminal, it's opening it as a windows terminal. So in order to turn it back, you need to use this command to make sure that it opens as a WSL terminal based window, not the windows based. So you can test it from here, but it won't work. So you'll have to directly use this. So that's why if you see the one which I had here did not work because that's what I tried in the first attempt. So there you go. If you want to open directly Windows one, you can create your own shortcuts. But generally, if I've seen people who use Windows, they generally directly click on new window. They are very mouse based interactions, which I totally understand. And that's totally fine. So, but if you want, you can always create your own automation. So thank you so much.